Hi, I'm Mary Kate. I'm from Furs of Flying Pet Grooming in East Hampton, Massachusetts. And today I'm going to show you how to wash your cat. So what you first want to do is start out by getting a cat harness. You have to make sure that nothing goes around their neck because they have very sensitive throats and you can hurt their throat very easily if you put anything around their neck. And also they always try to escape so they can break their necks too. So you want to make sure you get a harness specially made for a cat. Slide both of her feet in there. Just like this. And make sure it goes under her arms. And then you're going to want to tighten it down. And now we'll bring her over to the tub. And in the tub you're going to want to find some place to hook her up so that she can't escape. Just want to turn the water on. Make sure it's the right temperature. And it's best to always keep a hand on the cat just so they can't hurt themselves. So you're going to want to just wet her all the way down. You can wash a cat's head. I usually don't because they're so scared. And when you use a shampoo, you have to make sure it's for a cat. Otherwise they can burn their skin or hurt them. So you're just going to put the shampoo on. And then you're just going to rub it in with your hands. And just start at her head, the back of her neck, and just kind of rub it all in. And they make these things, they're called curry brushes. And it's, it's just a good way to get the shampoo all the way worked into her hair and down to her skin. It's okay. And you get their belly. And then when you're done washing her, you're just going to make sure that the temperature of the water is okay for the cat. And then you're just going to start at her head, or the back of her neck, and just rinse it off. If you don't get all the soap off, she can have dandruff, or it can cause dry skin, or she can have skin problems if you don't get it all off. And you don't have to wash your cat all the time. A lot of cats, they do groom themselves, but it's always nice just to help them out sometimes and give them a bath probably about once every two months is good and after her bath you can just take a towel and take her harness off and if you have a hard time finding a cat harness you can use a small dog harness those work too, so just want to squeeze some of the water out. And you can just dry her. You can towel dry her. And then after you're done washing and drying her with the towel, it's best to brush her just to make sure you get all of the mats out. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more, visit us at about.com.